Hi, I'm Jim Anderton, Director of Content at Engineering.com. I'm here in the Trump booth at Fabtech 2015 with Jamie Crandall. Now, he's a sales engineer at Trump Inc. And Jamie, we're standing in front of a True Bend Center 50, a 5030 unit. This is a new category, a new product for Trump. Yes, sir. Yeah, so we've actually entered into uh, more or less the panel bender market. This machine in particular is a little bit niche. Um, it's a standard panel bender by looks, but it'll also do a lot of intricate stuff that you would normally only be able to do on a press break. Now, Jamie, uh, panel bending, historically, this is an aspect of fabrication where often shops are expected to produce a wide variety of different shapes, sizes, gauges, and productivity is, is, is uh, often it's throttled by the need to handle very, very large parts. Now, this is heavily automated, I see. Yeah, it's, uh, it's still your standard semi-automatic panel bender machine, meaning that your operator has to rotate the part, mm -hmm. but it, uh, it does allow you a lot of flexibility. It takes over right after it clamps the material, and it, it takes all the bends from there. Mm -hmm. And how about gauging? As I, I'm looking behind me and I'm seeing some, uh, so what, what look like sort of standard back gauging, but I understand this, this, this operates more, at a much more sophisticated level. It does, yes. Yeah. So we actually have uh, technically a five axis back gauge back there, so that you do, are allowed to do a little bit of offsets. Mm -hmm. um, but once the back gauging is done, really the front manipulators take over the rest of the, the action on the bend. Okay. Now, a Trump is historically associated, of course, with laser products, uh, primarily in laser cutting there. Why the move into the bending market? I think it's just a, a category in, in the the sheet metal world that we weren't really able to hit. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, we were a very strong standing in our press breaks as well, mm -hmm. uh, but we did have some applications where we had to say, no, a, a panel bender would be better for that application. With this machine, we really get the best of both worlds, both be panel bending and the press break world. Yeah, and, and Jamie, what sorts of materials can you process with this true bend set? Are we talking about stainless, HSLA, aluminum alloys? Yeah, so it'll handle all of the uh, materials out there. It really specializes in stainless steel. Mm -hmm. And the reason that I say that is it does a lot of um, really nice radii in stainless without leaving a lot of witness marks that you would traditionally find from a hard tool. Mm -hmm. Jay, and what sort of markets, uh, what, what's the average end user, the end user profile of equipment like this? It covers a wide variety, but I would say the big guys uh, that would be interested in this machine would be a lot of appliance manufacturing, anybody that really has aesthetic parts. Again, because of the um, nice finish that you're going to get in your stainless and your aluminums, uh, but it'll also do very well with anybody that has really unique you know, geometries that are typically hard to handle on a press break. Panel bending, new market segment for Trump.